Hey y'all, welcome to the Crafty Cove. Today I am part of an open playlist challenge that we're going to talk about in just a little while. But first, we're going to get right into it. DIY number one. So the first thing I do for this one is I went to Good, or not Goodwill, y'all, this voiceover already, Big Lots, and got this package of apples, faux apples, and it had two big ones and a bunch of little small ones. So I'm going to take these two big ones out. I'm going to coat the bottom halves of these, both of them, in territorial beige, and I do two good coats of that color uh, first. I am taking my time a little bit just because I want to make sure that some of that red is definitely showing we are making caramel apples today when i think of fall i think of caramel and candy apples and those are two of my most favorite things about fall so two good coats of this territorial beige on both apples again leaving some of that red exposed up at the top then we are going to take this nutmeg brown and do one good coat over the territorial beige on both of the apples after these dry very well we're going to take some of these quick oats that i got from the dollar tree and i'm just going to open the bag and pour some out on the plate these are going to be our nuts for our faux caramel apples now i'm just going to take some mod podge squirt it directly on the apple and paint it in with my paintbrush and at first i try to roll the apple in the oats and i it just didn't get enough coverage uh, you'll see here in just a second and i also learned to do this in sections instead of like right here i did quite a bit but later on i just go through and do little sections at a time because then the oats stick so much better you can see here now i'm seeing that they're not sticking very well like that so i'm just going through and putting them on and tapping them off and just like you would do glitter y'all and I do this for both apples I leave a little bit of the brown exposed too I don't have any rhyme or reason on the way I'm doing this I'm just doing it to the way that I like how it looks and that's what you can do too again this is YouTube we are here to give you inspiration so you do you but then after we get that done on both apples and we let that Mod Podge dry completely we're going to go back in with some more of that nutmeg brown and we're just going to start tapping it on our oats now what this does it gives it a look of darker nuts lighter nuts because that's what these oats are representing on our caramel apples is our nuts so i absolutely love how this turned out i've also heard of people using like reptile bedding or um different things like that to use for the nuts i couldn't find any of that and i was not going to go buy a great big huge bag knowing that i probably won't use it again unless i'm making more of these faux apples so i just settled for the quick oats then after that i'm just going to take that stem right out take a dowel rod from the dollar tree i just broke it in half cut the excess off with scissors used my scissors and opened up that hole in the top of the apple just a little bit more and stuck a dowel rod into each of the candy apples and this is our stick for or not candy apples caramel apples and this is our stick for our apples now we're just going to take some of this red and white gingham ribbon again from the dollar tree make two very simple shoestring bows cut dovetails in them and glue them both one each to each apple up towards the top so when you all say caramel do you say caramel or caramel i'm from the south we say caramel but where we're at right now for the husband's job every time i go through starbucks they correct me and say caramel <laughs> so how do you all say it but anyway such a simple project and these are what they turned out like i absolutely love them i think they look so realistic as a matter of fact when i was done with this diy i definitely wanted a caramel apple <laughs> let me know what you all think of these in the comments so again today i am host helping to host a monthly challenge and this month's theme is either sunflowers or apples and I chose apples for mine and this is also hosted by Amanda at six kids and a glue gun Tammy at the rusted willow 
Stephanie at Mama Can Make It. And our co-host this month is Evie from Sweet Little Home. Y'all, these ladies are absolutely amazing. I love each and every one of them and I consider them all to not just be like YouTube co-workers. I consider, consider them all to be my friend. If you have not checked these people out, please make sure you go check these ladies out. They are all, all four of them are absolutely amazing and I love them all. Don't forget to also check out the playlist in my description box and go through and check out all these amazing crafters that are joining us in this challenge. DIY number two. Now y'all, I told you these were super, super, super easy DIYs and I promise you every single one of them are. Next, we're gonna take this DIY wood frame again from the Dollar Tree and it is shaped like an apple. This is probably one of the easiest of all four of my DIYs. The first thing we're gonna do is take out that insert. Just, you know, take it out, put it to the side because we are going to use it again. After we do that, we are going to take our crimson red Waverly chalk paint and we are going to give this two good coats, drying between coats. Make sure that you get the inside part of the circle there um, and the outside and that just gives it a finished look. You'll even see in a minute, I go ahead and do the back of this also. I paint it red and the leaves, paint all of it the crimson except the leaves there. We're going to do those in a different color. But again, get inside that little ring there and all around the edge. I just love that this gave it a really finished look and I love how this turned out for as simple as it was and to cost basically one dollar. Y'all, home decor does not have to cost a lot if we make it ourselves. And that is one of the things I love about YouTube is finding out how to make things for my home on a budget. So after we get all of the crimson painted, now we're going to take this scallion color by Waverly. Oh my goodness, y'all. I am so in love with this color right now. I know it's a little bright and I'm usually muted, you know, for holidays, but this color is just everything to me right now. I don't know what it is, but I'm absolutely in love with it. So again, here you see, I just go ahead and paint up the back just again for that finished look. Next, we're going to take that insert and some Buffalo plaid scrapbook paper from, this was from a pack that I got at Michael's. I'm just going to trace that insert and cut it out with some scissors. And then after we get it cut out, we're just going to put some Mod Podge. Of course, I put too much. Y'all know me, I'm the messy crafter and way too much Mod Podge crafter. <laughs> but I just put that on the back of, or on the front of our insert there and I just glue our buffalo check down on it. Next, I'm going to take one of the, oh, I missed some footage, I'm sorry. I just took a piece of one of the back small pictures of a farmhouse, the farmer's market calendar from the Dollar Tree and just glued that right there in the center and put another red and white buffalo check or plaid or whatever you wanna call it, bow on top. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I don't know where that footage could have went. DIY number three. We are just moving straight through these. And again, y'all, these are so super simple. I love these DIYs for the fact they're so simple. So I bought a pack of the wooden apple cutouts from the Dollar Tree. And I think you get like six or eight of these. And for this project, we're going to use three. So this does not even cost a dollar. And I'm just gonna make a little apple topiary. I'm gonna paint the first one with two good coats of that scallion. And on the second one, I just need one good coat of the crimson chalk paint. And on the last apple, I'm just gonna use some white acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. And this one takes two coats also. I guess because those lighter colors, I really wanted to get a good coverage on these. Then after that, we are going to take some Moss Waverly chalk paint and paint up all of our leaves on each and every one of these. I want to say pumpkins. They're not pumpkins, y'all. <laughs> They're apples. I know y'all could see that, but for some reason in my mind, I want to keep saying pumpkins. So if you hear pumpkins, please forgive me. I mean apples. So after we get those all painted up with the moss color for the leaves, we're going to take one of these little words that come in another pack of eight at the Dollar Tree. And this one says, welcome fall. We're just going to paint that up with the same moss colored paint. And now it's time to put our topiary together. 
So I'm going to make sure that my leaves are on the outside because I just love the look of that. I do not want to cover those up. So I put a red pumpkin first and then I glue the white pumpkin to the red again with the leaves out instead of underneath the red pumpkin. And we do the same exact thing with the green. We just put a little bit of hot glue on the back and get those all glued together. So simple. I told y'all, these are crazy simple DIYs, but I love the impact that they get. Next, we're going to take that welcome fall and we're going to glue that right in the middle on our white apple. Y'all, you cannot beat this. I'm telling you. And again, this didn't even cost me a dollar. Now we're going to take some red and white gingham ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Again, we are just going to make a super simple shoestring bow, dovetail the ends, and we are going to glue that right to the top. I'm not one who usually decorates for fall, so that's why I wanted to do things that were very cost efficient. And because we are now in a hotel with my husband's job where I travel with him, I needed some super simple things. So I hope you all enjoyed this one. I think it turned out super, super cute. And I absolutely love it there with my caramel apples. Okay, y'all, we are all ready to the last DIY, DIY number four. Again, one of those super simple DIYs. So I'm taking one of these little round pieces, the little, just the rounds that come from the Dollar Tree. You usually get these in a pack of six or eight. And I'm just going to paint this with two good coats of our Apple Barrel acrylic white paint. And I do two good coats because I, you know, it's on the raw wood and it really sucks that paint in. Taking another one of those words from the same exact pack as the first one that says Farm Fresh, I'm going to paint them that one up with our moss chalk paint. And then we are just going to glue the Farm Fresh right there in the middle of the circle and then we're going to use it for our basket here. This basket I got at the Goodwill and it is a, it, are they called long, -bear, long burgers? I'm not sure what they're called y'all, but I'm going to use that basket. Now, because I didn't want to hot glue this to it, I'm taking one of those little like command hooks from the Dollar Tree. I'm just pinching off that hook part and attaching it to my little round with hot glue and then using the sticky sticky part to put on my basket next i'm taking some paper towels just to give a little bit of height inside there now i'm going to take this blue and white gingham fabric that i got from the dollar tree again dollar tree stepping it up this fall and we're going to use that and stick that right on top of our paper towels and then we're going to stick our apples in there and that's it i just wanted to show you all that these projects, we can make projects that are so super simple and so affordable. That basket only cost me like $2. And look how stinking cute this turned out. Just a little touch, something for fall. I absolutely love it. So here's our final reveal and all of our projects. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video today. Again, I know they were super simple, but I get asked about simple projects a lot and that's why i wanted to bring these to you don't forget you all can find me on instagram you can buy me a coffee the link will be in the description box and you can email me at any time don't forget to watch the playlist y'all these ladies are amazing thanks for watching y'all come back now you hear